Here is a fun fact. This is Roy Sullivan. He is a famous person known in the Guinness World Records for being struck by lightning seven times. And guess what? He survived every single time. Because of this, people called him the human lightning conductor. We are going to explore some of the scariest types of weather. Get ready to learn about lightning, thunder, and tornadoes. Are you ready to join our wacky weather adventure? Come on, what are you waiting for? Let's go. A cloud is made up of millions of tiny water droplets, or ice crystals that float together in the sky. The big puffy clouds you see scattered in the sky are called cumulus clouds. They usually mean there won't be any rain. Very dark clouds in the sky means heavy rain is coming. These are nimbus clouds, which means a cloud that already has rain falling from it. They usually appear during thunderstorms with thunder and lightning. Check this out, kids. Lightning is a huge spark of electricity in the atmosphere. But do you know why lightning happens? It starts with tiny ice and water particles inside a storm cloud. These particles bump into each other, creating electricity. The cloud starts to have two different kinds of electric charges, positive charges at the top and negative charges at the bottom. And get this, the ground below the cloud also has positive charges. Since opposite charges attract each other, the negative charges at the bottom of the cloud want to connect with the positive charges on the ground. When the difference in electric charge becomes really big, the electricity wants to find a way to balance out. So it jumps from the cloud to the ground. This is called lightning. Did you know that one lightning bolt can be hotter than the surface of the sun? That's about 30,000 degrees Celsius. No matter how much you love playing in the rain, remember that it can be extremely dangerous. Avoid going near bodies of water like lakes, pools, or rivers because water conducts electricity. Also, never hide under a tree during a storm, as lightning is more likely to strike them and you can get hurt. If you have seen lightning, then you have surely heard thunder. Thunder is the loud roar you hear in the dark sky during a storm. So how is it formed? Well, let me show you. Lightning heats the surrounding air to an incredibly high temperature of 30,000 degrees. This heating of the surrounding air causes it to expand rapidly. It then cools and contracts. This creates the sonic shockwave we call thunder. Do you know how to determine the distance of lightning from where you are? Take out your watches. Watch for a flash of lightning in the sky. It's very bright and easy to spot. As soon as you see lightning, start counting the seconds. Stop when you hear thunder. Now divide your counted seconds by five and you have the distance. Now take the number of seconds you counted and divide it by five. If you counted five seconds, divide five by five. This will give you one. So, the lightning is about one mile away. Know this, light travels much faster than sound. This is why you see the lightning first and hear the thunder later. Picture a hot summer day. The sun heats up the ground and this makes the air near the ground warm and moist. Since warm air is lighter than cool air, the warm and moist air near the ground starts to rise up into the air. As this warm air rises, it eventually meets the cool, dry air in the sky. This causes the air to mix and form big, puffy clouds called thunderstorms. Follow me and let me show you what happens inside the thunderstorm cloud. Inside the thunderstorm, the wind at different heights starts to blow in different directions and at different speeds. This difference in wind direction and speed is called wind shear. The spinning air spins faster and faster till it forms a funnel cloud. This funnel cloud is the beginning of a tornado. It looks like a cone or a funnel hanging down from the thunderstorm. When the funnel cloud touches the ground, it becomes a tornado. The tornado is a powerful spinning column of air that can pick up dust, cars or even houses. It's scary and it destroys everything it touches.
Kids, next time you see a lightning flash or hear thunder, you'll know exactly what's happening up there in the sky. Also, remember to always keep safe during lightning, thunderstorms, and tornadoes. Weather can be wild and wacky, but knowing how it works and how to stay safe makes it less scary.